Hey ho, Jiggly Doe, it's me, it's David, yep, and um, welcome to the, um, my introduction video to um, the new ARG. We've done this a few times and failed a few times, <laughs> but uh, anyway, this time we are going dead seriously, 100% professional on this, I am, this is not very professional already, I'm fixing my headset in the middle of a commentary, yep, but um, that should hopefully get sorted for some time very soon, but um, sorry for the background noise if there is any. Anyway, um, this is just the uh, BPL squad builder of mine. There's me bench. I know it's not on fancy, but it's me bench. I'll I'll show you what I use the bench for. And anyway, um, anyway, starting in goal. Yeah, I'm a noob. I play simple four four two in goal. I put David De Gea, who's fairly average. He has his bad games and his good games, and there's no games whatsoever where he just does auto crap. <laughs> anyway, but um, David Da Gea Quintana, whatever that is, three star week four, and he's actually got a skill move for the goalkeeper. Ooh, yeah. Anyway, look at that. He's got 85 dive and 87 reflexes and 85 kick, and there his best stats is positioning. I mean, positioning you need for the keeper, but yeah. Anyway, I've not got him in the right formation either, so I'm gonna have to change that. I obviously do that sometimes. I put Vorm in, but recently I've had Da Gea. And in it right back, big Micah Richards because of the 82 massive pace he has. 88 head and for someone who's only 5 foot 11, has some good head in there. It's got more head than I do. But uh, that's a different story. Whatever you do, don't look at me, um, <laughs> me record at the top there. Terrible in it, I know. Yeah, and then it. Me right centre back. Where is he? There he is. Let's go. Now there's another guy who gets a lot of head. <laughs> Probably gets so much head he's even got a scar. Yeah, he's basically less got in real life's a tank. On the games a tank. Um, games played for my club. Thirty six for my club. He scored two. Is that yeah? Yellow cards for one. One for my club. Look at hell. That's not bad, that, because that yellow card was just a game I've just, like, played. Anyway. And at left centre-back, I have my favourite player in Liverpool, Daniel Aguirre. I think, in all fairness, his heading should be about 82, 83, maybe. But, I don't know. Maybe maybe FIFA might listen to me and put him in 84 as well. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Aguirre is, is shooting for a defender. I don't... You know, he's got a long shot. I think he has the long shot trait. I don't know, but his his actual long shots are pretty decent. So yeah, and um, yeah, <laughs> left back another Liverpool man, Jose Enrique, which obviously he's he's not the best, but in real in real life, I keep saying real life, like it's you know. A different world out there, but look, I bought him for two for two and a half thousand. How much did I get Aga for? Seven and a half. Let's got two and a half. Richards, first owner, got him in a park. De Gea, bought for that, yeah. Anyway, um, his pace, he's a great player. His defense, his heading's not so bad. Passing, in real life, he doesn't know how to pass, so we'll let him off there anyway. But um, moving on, there's my defense at left mid. Juvino. Only for the four star skills and his 88 pace and his 87 dribbling. Passing not so much because I just run down the wing and cross it into me attackers. Yep, and if I am ever actually stuck for a player, I will put Dempsey or Nzogbeer in. Nzogbeer more because he's got, you know, the 90 pace. But oh well, a sentiment, fair sentiment at this side is Frankie. Frankie himself retiring soon. Poor little fella, poor little fella. Six foot. I didn't actually realise he was that tall. Bought for three thousand. Hmm, probably goes for a lot less now, but he's he's not exactly the over performer, but he does the job, especially with that passing and his shooting. His shooting, I actually don't think it should be eighty-seven. It should be about I don't know, an eighty-four maybe, because it's actually not as good as eighty-seven. I'd say. Because, I mean, he, he hits them in that, but very rarely go in or go on target or nothing, but... Oh, well. My other centre mid is... A, 
Don't know why, but I like him. Mikel Arteta is shooting as good as well. He should have about an 84 shooting as well. His passing and dribbling is amazing. Arteta's he's probably like a cheap Santi Cazola. Even though Cazola is not even that dear anyway, but what's his real name? Mikel Arteta Amatrain. Uh, uh, Amatrain. Ah, uh, he's a train. Uh, hello, train. That right mid is just pure pace. Valencia or Lennon, depends on how I feel. And um, if I get real cocky, walk up. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much pace down my sides. I like I like to have pace down the wings. But um, yeah, call me a noob. I don't care. And up front, well, this side it's just a simple little Lucas Badolski, and well, I think we all know why, really. The 87 pace, 87 shooting. Pa Dolsky. I was wanting to get his inform version when it came out. Do you remember he had an inform a couple of weeks ago? I was trying to bring that out and, um, well, failed like fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, I opened about 10 packs, got absolutely nothing in them, but yeah. And this, I always change this striker quite a lot. But recently I've been playing Jekko. He's not fast at all, Jekko, but. You get him in front of goal and he'll finish it. Believe me, in front of goal and he'll finish it. And if I've not got Jacko, then I've got him bent. And if I've not got bent, then it's either Giroud who's on the bench, or I use any of these, any of these ones really, like Berbatov, Welbeck, Carroll, Malalas, and Kone. Long, I don't really use that much because he's. His shooting is absolutely terrible. What foot is he? Preferred foot right? Well, do you know any foot he can't shoot? <laughs> but he needs just a pile of crap. Pagrebniak is average. Rodriguez, Southampton's finest. Anyway, yeah, it's um, mainly Jacques I have there. Yep, yeah, so uh, anyway, that's my squad builder there. But, um,. Yeah, before I go, I want to say, ARG, we are back for good, hopefully, and we're going to make something of it this time. We'll get more more videos out and better commentaries, and we'll, we'll try and do a lot better than we've, I've done it before. And anyway, I've got nothing else to say, so I'll speak to you the next time I get to. And this has been David, and obviously not me partner. But anyway, see you next time. Next time. Next time. <laughs> Goodbye.